The results from drilling a well, known as Calypso 1, suggest the presence of a large new gas field off the coast of Cyprus. The discovery comes after a number of lean years for drilling operations on the island, and there is speculation that the field may contain up to 8 trillion cubic feet of gas. Calypso marks the second notable discovery off the coast of Cyprus. In 2011, US independent Noble found gas in its Aphrodite prospect, which was then thought to indicate a find of 7 trillion cubic feet, although later estimates when we actually started to drill found nearer 4 trillion cubic feet. A proposal to tie in Aphrodite's development with that of Israel's Leviathan field, which is also approved by Noble, has come to nothing, as Noble has struggled for some time to find sufficient customers to make Leviathan economic before deciding to pipe the gas directly to Israel. Another idea was to link the offshore Israeli discovery to ENI's proposed field at uh, Zohar, just off the coast of Egypt. This was unfortunately scotched owing to disagreements between Noble and the Egyptian government as to how a link-up might be arranged. Calypso, on the other hand, might be more easily tied into the Zohar since ENI would be the operator of both fields. Zohar has been in operation since late 2017 and is meant to be producing around 1.8 billion cubic feet before the end of 2018, with a second development phase which will raise another 1.1 billion cubic feet on stream by 2020. ENI is active elsewhere in Egypt, most notably as the operator of 1.2 billion cubic feet Nourosh field offshore of the coast of the Nile Delta. Gas from these fields should help Egypt to become a net exporter of gas by 2019, and the government hopes that further offshore discoveries will enable the state of affairs to continue. A bidding round for the acreage off the Nile Delta and some further blocks offshore there has been recently announced for June 2018. ENI is also involved in exploration elsewhere in the eastern Mediterranean. In addition to Cyprus, where it holds six exploration blocks, it also gained two blocks in Lebanon's first exploration round heard earlier this year. Some of any of the gas found off Cyprus or Lebanon could be sent to Egypt, where there are two LNG export terminals, and both of these could eventually be used to export eastern Mediterranean gas around the world. In the short term, however, the most economic solution would probably be to pipe the gas from offshore Lebanon, along with any gas that might be found in southeastern Cyprus, to either Lebanon or Israel. From there, it might be transported to Egypt, where it could be exported as LNG. And it's not yet clear, however, if there are any offshore gas facilities planned for Cyprus or Lebanon. But there is a pipeline from South Israel to Egypt designed to allow the import of Egyptian gas from Israel. And this could be reversed to take gas to Egypt. But importing gas via Israel is likely to be highly controversial politically, especially when more Egyptian gas becomes available from the new fields in 2019 onwards. Production and exports from Cyprus are nevertheless some years off. In addition to the need to prove those reserves at Calypso, and remember that was a sticking block in the earlier find, there needs to be an infrastructure build-out uh, to handle any of the necessary export of gas and a number of political problems, of course, with divisions of the island. Part of the seabed off Cyprus is claimed by Turkey under its own exclusive economic zone, including the block on which the Calypso is currently located. But the Turks also claim another exclusive economic zone on behalf of the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus, which is a result of the partition of the island when Turkey invaded the northern part of the island, ostensibly to protect Turkish citizens living there in 1974. This second exclusive economic zone covers part of four more blocks that have been offered by the government of Cyprus for exploration, all of which ENI has a stake in. To reinforce this point, Turkey recently sent naval vessels to Block 3 to the east of the island at the same time that e I had a drilling vessel there. This move was mainly symbolic on the part of Turkey, but adds to the uncertainty over the future production offshore of Cyprus and may make some foreign companies nervous about becoming involved in exploration and production there. But geopolitical rivalries are not the only obstacle to transforming eastern Mediterranean into a gas exporting hub. As we've mentioned, neither Israel nor Cyprus has the required infrastructure currently to export the gas to Europe. In December 2017, Greece, Italy, Cyprus and Israel jointly agreed to support the construction of a pipeline from the eastern Mediterranean to connect to the main gas hubs of Europe. However, many analysts have questioned whether it's technically or economically feasible to construct. Money is one thing, but what's really required is a solution to the political problem. 
With a new government in place in Cyprus, it may be possible to restart the process to resume negotiations to resolve the Cypriot problem. The new Turkish Cypriot administration also seems to be interested in renewing negotiations. A potential energy boom in Cyprus could spur on a deal to reunify the ethnically divided island after more than 40 years. And that surprise worth far more than any of the gas currently locked away underneath Cyprus.